This beginner friendly tutorial is designed to help you understand and then master cold power in Satisfactory. All of the equipment and parts that you see me use in today's video are all available early game unless stated otherwise. So if you wish to follow along at home, then feel free. I've got a lot more Satisfactory tutorials, tips and tricks and more available on the channel if you need them. And of course, I'll still be making plenty more as well, so feel free to subscribe if Satisfactory is the game for you. Without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Before we actually start building our core generator facility, it's actually quite important to understand a bit more about this core generator itself. To build this behemoth of a machine, you need 20 reinforced iron plates, 10 rotors, and 30 cable. Despite being able to handcraft all three of these items, I highly recommend that you do try to automate all three of them if you can, especially reinforced iron plates, since this will play an extra key part in today's video. An additional thing to note here is that we have got two inputs, a solid and a liquid. And luckily, unlike nuclear power, there is no output, so there is no waste generated from using coal generators. This mini Burj Khalifa can burn three different items, and luckily a 1.0 quality of life change is this. We can now see the exact items that this thing burns, and the burn rate as well. And one thing to note is that compact coal is the best. This is because it burns the least amount of items per minute, whereas petroleum coke is the worst and coal is just the mid one. As we can see, compact coal requires sulfur, so I actually don't recommend that you use compact coal unless you've got a bunch lying around. Instead, I recommend you burn just regular coal since this is easier to find and you don't have to do any extra crafting to make it. An additional resource that you need is water. The coal generator itself can actually store 50 cubic meters of water, but you need to burn 45 cubic meters of water per minute. So essentially, don't build your coal generators here unless you want to pipe the water from miles away, which I don't recommend. Try and build your coal generators near water. Unfortunately though, this makes things a little bit difficult, because as we can see in regards to the water extractors, this thing produces 120 cubic meters of water per minute. Two of these coal generators consume 90 per minute, and three of them consumes 135. So unfortunately, the maths is a little bit difficult. So what you could do is something like this. So for every one water extractor, you have two coal generators. Then when it comes to the water extractor, you just underclock this thing. So rather than consuming all the power to produce 120 cubic meters of water per minute, you're only consuming 90, so just lower that thing down to 90. Then you'll save a little bit of power, and of course, you'll have a pretty decent ratio from- Ah! So you actually end up with a pretty good coal to water ratio, because bear in mind, both of these combined are only consuming 30 coal per minute. Now, if you spawned in the grass fields for your playthrough, you'll probably recognize where I am. It is this spot right here, next to a good body of water and four different coal nodes. Well, technically three, because this one unfortunately is blocked by a boulder, and the only way to destroy this is with a nobilisk detonator, which then of course detonates the rock. When it comes to coal power, the main thing you're going to need is coal. I know, who would have thought? For this example, we'll be using the Mark 1 Miner, which everyone should have by this stage of the game. On a regular note, this thing produces 60 items per minute. And that's exactly what we've got going on over here. You can always overclock this if you want, but again, for today's video, we're just dealing with Mark 1 and Mark 2 conveyor belts. The reason as to why I say a Mark 2 conveyor belt is because if you've unlocked the Mark 2 miner, you can now notice it goes up from 60 items per minute to 120. And obviously, if you do use a 60 belt for this, you are losing out on half your resources. This is why towards the start of the video, I said make sure you've got a ton of reinforced iron plates at the ready, because that's how you make the Mark 2 conveyor belts. Regardless, for this example, we'll be sticking to the Mark 1 conveyor belt. When you're trying to get this over to your actual main call project, and you want the belt to snap, just press the R button, R for retaliant, and there you go. Retaliant? That's such a weird word. But either way, press the R button on your keyboard, and you can see it snaps perfectly, without, with. This is a brand new 1.0 quality of life change that I love. And these are the blueprints we designed earlier, but I've placed two of them down next to each other, because in total, these four coal generators are consuming 60 coal per minute. And how much coal are we producing from the miners? 60 per minute, 
But again, if you're producing more, just make more coal generators. But do not connect this into your coal generator just yet. And there is a reason for that. And it's all to do with these water extractors. And I've actually got a nice tip I would like to show you guys. If you were to place down a water extractor in the water, it doesn't snap onto anything. However, if you extend a foundation underneath the ground, just like this, and then try and place your water extractor, it actually snaps onto the foundation. So we can see right here, this is the center of this foundation. This is how I was able to perfectly line it up with these things. The reason why I told you to hold fire on connecting the coal into this thing is purely because I recommend connecting liquids, no matter if it's a coal generator or anything else in the game that involves liquids, I always recommend connecting it first, before the solids. This way it gives the water a nice chance to get into the coal generator before being mixed with the solids. And don't forget to underclock the water extractor to 75% or 90 cubic meters of water per minute. Because again, we're only using two coal generators per water extractor. How much water they're using? 90 per minute. And when you think you are ready, hook up your coal into your splitter. Make sure it's connected fully through all the way to here. And that essentially is it. Don't expect all these coal generators to be working straight away. Because what we've created here is a manifold system. So with this splitter, 50% of the coal that we have from here is going into this generator. And 50% of the coal is continuing over here. Then 50% of that 50%, so 25%, then goes into here. Then 12.5%, then 6.25% of the coal is actually getting into here. But obviously, eventually, this is going to fully back up. Which means 100% of this coal is going to come into here. Until this gets fully backed up, then 100% of the coal comes into here. And then eventually, this will work. I know this is quite a small hive bean. This is quite a small example. But this is all you need to make for 60 coal per minute. So of course, if you're producing 120 coal per minute, double it, 240, quadruple it, etc, etc. Don't forget some of the tricks I've told you. The foundations for the water extractors, underclocking, exact ratios, and things like this. This tutorial was kind of quick, kind of basic, but it should have answered all your questions. However, if you have got any more questions I haven't yet covered in this video, please do comment what it is down below, because I do read all my comments, so I will most definitely see yours. Of course, a massive thank you to Lo, Chaos Rising, Yan Matejko, and Meow Meow for all becoming members on the channel. If you too would like to become a member, you get access to exclusive badges, emotes, rewards, channel benefits, and a lot more. Click the membership link in the description below to join for £2.99 per month. It is the best way to support my work here on the channel. And that will just about do it for today's video, so click there or here to see more of my content and subscribe if satisfactory is the game for you. Have an amazing rest of your day and remember, Godspeed.